How was your Tuesday? Mine was terrible, thanks for asking. Because I wasted it away, much like I have the last few weeks, watching another crappy episode of The Acolyte, or as I lovingly refer to it, The Crapolite. If you are still invested in this show, you're definitely not going to want to hear from a bitter, jaded old Star Wars fan like myself, because I'm now doing spoiler breakdowns of every episode right after they hit to tell you what's going on in this wacky, crazy world of Disney Plus Star Wars. Spoiler! Not a whole lot. If you're still here, come on, let's head on this misery together. Our story opens on Kofar, home to the Jedi Wookiee Master Kalnaka. Kalnaka! And I'm Kalnaka gonna lie to you, the guy's made a pretty nice home for himself here. He's got the trees, he's got the plants, and he's fixing himself a nice plate for dinner, but the camera's more fixated on what's happening on the walls next to him. There's some nice prints, some beautiful artwork, some swirls, some patterns. It's another mystery that I really don't care if they solve or not. But you know what I do care about? You? The viewer. I want you to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single episode of this alkalite brilliant breakdown that I'm doing this. It's really a case study at the end of the day. And this is Adam Does Movies. I do focus mainly on film coming out, new stuff, old stuff, everything in between. And I would love to have you on board for that. All right, let's, let's continue on. Back at Crescent Roll, Jedi training commences. And Osha's on her way out. She packed her bags. She's headed for the door. She's going to opt out saying goodbye to Master Soul because, let's, let's be honest, he's boring. She doesn't have time for that crap. And I think she feels bad for, you know, just being an all-around trash bag of a person. Meanwhile, May and Star Wars budget Ezra Miller are tracking that Wookiee Master. And by the way, this episode is flipping back and forth between these two stories constantly. So just try to keep up with me. I'm having a hard time keeping up with myself. It's a whirlwind. <laughs> oh. Kill me. Master Soul converses with his fellow Jedi comrades. There's Penis Head, Martian Manhater, and my favorite, Regular Lady in a Cloak, plus a few other idiots just to kind of mix things up a bit. They have all determined in their infinite wisdom that they need to figure out who was training May. Who is this mysterious ringleader behind the curtain, this Wizard of Oz? It feels like I'm just padding this video out right now. Because I am, let's keep going. Soul, not one to ever take a hint, starts chasing after May because he wants her to go on this Scooby-Doo adventure with him, believing the only way to really get a reach on May is through the love of a sister because he believes there's still some good in her. I'd like to think that's true. Some weird muskrat thingy gets shot in the face by what I imagine is Osha's vibrator. Probably humorous for someone out there. I, I don't know who, but uh, it's, it's got to be funny for someone, right? Why else would they have made this? Why would they have designed that complete monstrosity of a character unless they thought it was cute or funny to someone out there? The gang's all here. We finally are all touched down on Kofar looking for this tricky Wookiee. Jedi Master Zoolander is not impressed that Osha has a blaster in her possession. Short for possession. But before he can confiscate it, Soul senses a presence in the woods. And woodsn't you know it. It's from the Wookiee. That was a stretch of a pun. Woodsn't you know it. It was, it's sloppy. It's just sloppy. Osha, unable to resist, touches a tree's giant ball sack. And now this is the only way I can achieve climax. Uh-oh, it looks like we're gonna get a huge action sequence. Disturbing that sack disturbed some of the bugs in the area. Well, singular, a bug, a, a single bug, attacks the crew. What are we gonna do in this situation? Master Soul steps in, showcasing the sheer brute strength and skill of a Jedi warrior, busting out the saber, ready to attack, getting in formation, and slices down the creature. Oh, what else is there's gonna be a whole bunch of them gonna come out now, right? We're gonna have this cool, and it's done. The scene's done. Single bug slice and done. You would think based on the recovery of this moment that Master Soul just got done fighting off 17 waves of these things. He's pretty out of breath here. <sighs> you see what I did back there? Did, did you guys catch that? I cut that bug in half with the sword. What he just did right there, at one point I thought would be the Jedi equivalent of just smacking a bug with a fleece water. 
but apparently that was way more intense than I gave it credit for because he's he's in rough shape after that little <laughs> after that little moment <sighs> Whew, whoa that was uh, I might have to sit down from this Whew. back with me she opens up to her buddy Mose Isley Miller and says how this is more than just training for her to appease her master, it's actually her final mission. What comes next is anyone's guess, but if she doesn't complete the task at hand, she's gonna be killed by the master. Mm, powerful stuff. We are about 20 minutes deep into episode four and really nothing has happened at all. Definitely feels the most padded out, feels like the most filler of the bunch, a lot of repeated dialogue, a lot of scenes that really don't need to exist at all. They're not pushing the story in any sort of direction, front or back or sideways. Just, just nothing of consequence happening. A lot of running in place with an occasional animal or a trap springing. Speaking of which, peekaboo. Isley Miller gets hung out to dry because May decided, wait, you know what? I don't even need to do this. I'm really glad we had this talk and I was able to kind of work through some shit. My sister's alive. I don't care about this crazy Sith Lord or whatever's going on behind the scenes. I have my sister back. Thanks, Isley Miller. See you never. And he's like, you're just gonna leave me here? And she's like, yeah, hey, bye. She literally left him hanging. Rocket Raccoon's slow cousin spots May and calls out to the Jedi. But May, no longer a killer, just wanted to do a meet and greet with the Wookiee, possibly get an autograph and a selfie only to find out someone did her old job for her as he's already been murdered. For those keeping track, this edgy adult show about a Jedi assassin going after these masters and killing them has so far had one fight that led to a death, one poisoning where the guy offed himself, and one where the Jedi was killed off camera. Wow. Really, really riveting entertaining stuff here. May is in big trouble. She's cornered by all of these Jedi, and there's no sand in sight to save her this time. What is she going to puff up in the air to run away? I have a feeling it's going to be hard for her to get out of this one. I think this time, there's not going to be some convenient little thing that shows... Oh, and something showed up. Frozen in place due to either fear or laughing to herself because of how stupid this dude looks, a mysterious entity shows up, gets right up in her grill, and is rocking one of those kick-ass Sith sabers. That red is hot. It's fiery hot. The Jedi do not hesitate. The lightsabers spring into action. They rush forward to Osha's aid. The evil villain tosses her aside like a rag doll and whoosh, throws them all backwards right at the camera. This surely will not be the last of this battle. No, 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 no. We are gearing up for the most epic fight in Star Wars history. Yes, so far, 30 minutes of my time have been wasted. Life I will not get back. It's precious. We have one chance here on Earth. Let's make the most of it and not waste it on the Acolyte. But I did. That time cannot be retained. It cannot be brought back. I don't have a Harry Potter time turner or some shit. No, I'm in now. I'm invested. And thankfully, it's all led to a cool fight scene at the end of this episode the tease the build it's here yes we went on this waste of fucking time adventure quest so far that led to nothing but bam we have a sith reveal we have jedi with all the power in the world coming head to head and the episode's over the episode is over the credits have kicked in are you out of your fucking mind with this crap Episode 4. Complete trash. Nothing happens. Oh, May has a change of heart suddenly. She has a change of fart because her sister is alive. And she had to go to a different planet and realize, you know what? I don't need to be doing this. This is so stupid. It's so childish. And yeah, I know it's a show about guys with light swords stabbing at each other. Or at least it used to be. They don't even do that anymore. Now they just get flung around and it's over. Hell, no one in this show that's comprised mainly of Jedi has used a fucking lightsaber in battle yet. Sure, they busted it out a couple times, but nothing of real substance has been done with them. One time they used it to light up a cavern. Maybe, maybe they used it as a glorified bug zapper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? 
<laughs> ah, I forgot to I forgot to put it hey I didn't retract it ah, that's gonna hurt that's gonna hurt owie it's a good thing it wasn't a small little knife where I'd be dead right now instead of just impaling myself through the gut it costs a fortune like 180 million dollars I think I read 180 million dollars where's that at where's that where's that money being used certainly not in the choreography Certainly not in the big action spectacle. This is Star Wars, but it's coming off like this little tiny kitty crap. I, I, I just, I'm blown away by how boring this is. What a tedious ad fucking adventure. The last episode, horrible, embarrassingly bad, but at least it was fun to make fun of. It had so much cringe built in. It had so many ridiculous conversations and setups. This is just boring. This is just a slog. And then when they finally have the opportunity, like we saw in the teaser, to have this kick-ass fight, they squander it. They, they throw it in our face like it's nothing. Now, it's poss, short, uh, short for possible, that we will get something epic in episode five. Maybe this fight does go for an extent. Maybe it's the whole episode. It's like a, a Dragon Ball Z thing where they spend 30 minutes powering up for a legendary battle. But it's not like we spent 30 minutes here powering up. No, this was thrown in right at the end. It's just so half-assed and lazy. I'm sick of it. But we're going to continue because people like the pain. People like the misery. We revel in it together. And it's all we have anymore. All these other characters have been either... Uh, like killed off or sunsetted in the most insulting ways possible. And I'm not even just talking about Star Wars. Uh, yes, of course, Luke handled like absolute shit. Even Han Solo kind of disrespected. But but Indiana Jones, 85 years old, like schlubbing around in a, <laughs> in a tank top. It's so bad. It's so bad. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, 18. They bring back all the old crew for one last dinosaur ride. No one wants to see this. Maybe we say we want to, but it's just, it, it's embarrassing. Having them put on their iconic jackets and they're, they're limping around, barely able to walk one foot in front of the other. I can't with this crap. Make something new. And if you're going to do the same thing over, at least make it exciting. Make it fun. This is just a sleeper. It's a slog. All right, I could keep going, but uh, I'm just an old man yelling in the sky right now. I, I just can't believe what a waste of time this is. Let me know your thoughts, though, on the Crapolite, episode four of season one. Hopefully the only season we ever have of this abomination. Leave a comment. Please like the video again. I would, I would appreciate to subscribe. I post content every single week, multiple times usually movie related but if it's a big franchise if it's a big property yeah i'll talk about it i'll watch it i'll explore it and i'll give you my two cents worth i have a second channel adam does rants where i rant about silly first world problems if you want to join me there as well uh i've been a little late to the party getting new videos up but it's going to be a focus here soon gonna get that thing monetized and if you love what i'm doing you can always leave a super thanks right on this video i would appreciate it a few bucks say hey adam i love this i appreciate your content appreciate your commentary and i appreciate you may the forest be buried and remembered as something better take care